I don't know what to do. I just need to turn on this device because I can't get people to hear. No one's hearing what I'm hearing. I can't get people to see. Nobody can see what I see. And this is messed up. And... I'm just going to stop talking and let's push the box. Because... You're all fucking doomed, I'll tell you that much. And you didn't even want to know what was actually going on. You're looking for BS story fright crap. Instead of truth for what it is. I don't even want to do any of this anymore. People can say they want help all they want, but if you don't accept it when you're getting the help you asked for, then you're all screwed. Call on to God, because that's what you want, and then God comes through, and you can't even acknowledge him for who he is. Are you joking me? And you're not worried about the end times and what's going to happen. You're not worried about any of this. Because you all already know better, right? But none of you can practice anything you claim you believe. And here I am. This is my life. This is what I do. And for what? To listen to people cry that they want help, that they want guidance, and then they don't take the help and they can't even wrap their head around the guidance. If you ask for God's help and he gives it to you and you don't accept it, don't be surprised why you go through doom and peril and bullshit in your life. You made the decision to not take anything for what you should have. You were told you would be judged and tested. And I continue to try to push for the better. Just to have everyone show me the bitter truth of how all this bullshit is because of the times we are in. Oh no, I know we're in the end times. But you're not doing anything? Really? Do you have any idea how hard it is to constantly stand up on your own? You might want to say that you already do and that you are. But you really don't know what that's like. Anyways, let's enjoy a message. Maybe we'll all get something. Maybe I'll hear something and then you guys will hear something totally different. Maybe not a single one of us. Maybe a thousand people could watch this and nobody's going to hear it for what it is. And everyone's going to take it for something different. Sounds like a problem in the world. Just like you all want to believe your history books, but you don't want to acknowledge the lies that they're actually teaching you. And you want to just keep on going along with all these lies. But I learned this in school. Oh, well, guess what? 20 years later, it's not the same truth anymore that you learned 20 years ago, is it? But it was 20 years ago. It was right and true. And you had to know this to pass. So did you learn anything? I learned... That it don't matter if you call on to God and he answers your prayer, your call, if you don't acknowledge it for what it is. All you want to acknowledge is darkness and evil, well then that's all you're going to get in your life and you deserve it. If you don't want to acknowledge anything good, positive, or uplifting... You deserve to be surrounded by the darkness that envelops you in your every waking moment of your life because that is all you decide to see. If you want to be afraid of God, be afraid of God. Give him fear or give him glory for the magnificence of what God is.
You want to claim God is loving. Really? Then what was hell for? Ooh. All kinds of little twists. People don't get a damn thing about what's actually going on. But you damn yourself by asking. And then God comes. And you don't acknowledge it. But, but you'll acknowledge evil and darkness. But you can't acknowledge God in your life. Everything is bad and everything is evil. And that's all that there is. Why? Because it's the times we live in and you don't want to see it, but yet you want to claim you see it and you know it. But that can't be the case. Look at your life and look at your actions. What is actually going on? What do you decide to do? Continue to see nothing but evil and darkness. And you don't keep your eyes fixated on God and the promise of what's getting ready to come through and what's getting ready to happen. And those that do, even if you backslide, turn your butt around and get your eyes back on him and keep moving. Get your eyes off everything dark, evil, and bad that's opening all these doorways and putting all this crap in your life in the first place. And then stop looking and acknowledging all of that and find something other to acknowledge and change what's going on by the way you choose to perceive it. You'll find people still to this day that will take that book, the Holy Bible. Some will still to this day not believe it. Some will believe it. Some will fear it. Some will worship that knowledge. But no matter which way you want to look at there's always going to be somebody else out there viewing that same thing differently. Why do you think there's so many different branches of churches preaching out of that same book and yet there's so many different twists of which way they all want to pull it? Because each one of them are all perceiving the same exact thing a totally different way and teaching you all all these different mixed beliefs and you can't see that that book that's spread out between all these different religions, okay, so which one's right? They're all going off the same thing, but everyone's seeing it differently. You're only going to listen to someone who's preaching to you if you agree with what they're saying. And if you don't agree with what they're saying, you're not going to listen. It doesn't matter who it is. There are still people today that disagree with the teachings of things that other people believe in. It doesn't matter what you believe in. There is somebody who's going to oppose it. If you believe it, you're wrong. If you believe it, you're right. But which one is it? Does it show by what you do? I continue to try to tell everyone there is goodness in everything. So many times we were told not to judge or you were going to be judged and you judged constantly. Constantly you judge. Your own thoughts, they condemn you. Your own actions, they condemn you. Your own belief condemns you. What you do condemns, condemns. Everything is condemning. Right? If you see it for something other than that, well then, damn it, acknowledge it, say it, stick with it, believe it, trust it, know it. I know everything comes through on this and there's some twisted stuff, but guess what? I'm not trying to be focused and stuck on all the negative like you guys. I'm listening and hearing all of it. And I'm trying to accept it for what it is because it is not my place to pass that judgment. Is it? Because I pass judgment. And my judgment says we are all screwed. It's the end of the world. Revelations is getting ready to come to pass. And we all deserve the destruction that God said was rightfully ours in the end times for what it is. And I say bring it and bring it full force and let it explode all over the place. Because ain't no one going to wake up to the truth of it. It don't matter if they're a Satan worshiper or if they're a God worshiper. It don't matter if they believe in Buddha or if they believe in the, the, the great spirit or the fire keeper and all this other nonsense. If you can't see anything for what it is, you're screwed. I can sit here all day long and try to tell you, this is pink. Someone's going to say that's not pink. Well, it might be the coloring on your screen, but I'm telling you, this is a pink piece of paper. I could turn around and say, this is green. Someone's going to say, that's not green. Yes, it is. It's green. Who are you to say that? Oh, you don't see it as green and pink? I see it as green and pink because it is green and pink. But somebody out there will not see those colors for what they were. 
even though they are what they are, if you don't have the ability to see it for what it is, it don't matter what I sit here and say. Here's a good one. This right here, this is black. Okay, no, you're right. This is yellow. This is yellow. Oh, it's not? It's blue? Ah, so what, somebody out there wants to try to say this is purple? Gray? This is actually a blue piece of paper. But it don't matter what I call it, it still is what it is. And it's not your place to try to push all this judgment crap out there on a damn fucking thing. Let alone on spirits when you don't even have the ability to try to understand it because you only want to perceive it one way. Don't matter. It could be somebody trying to help you. It could be your dead mom or your dad or your uncle or your kid that passed and they're trying to get your attention. So something fell. You're automatically going to perceive that fact that something fell. It must be evil. There's no way it was a ghost doing it. There's no way that an angel would knock something off. There's no way that they would try to get your attention that way. So let's just go ahead. I know I've rambled for a minute. Let's just turn this on because I don't think anyone's going to actually hear what I say. Why do I think that? Because no one's acknowledging a damn thing. I could sit here in your face and tell you who I am. But I'm not surprised on how many people can't hear it. I am... I'm just really upset. I, I, I don't even want to push this. Why? You guys ain't even going to listen or hear a damn thing that comes out of it. I could hear something say, I love you. But who do you want to perceive saying, I love you? Only something bad can love me? I love you. Acknowledge that. What is love? Love is horrible. Run away. It's love. Fear it. No way love is good. What comes through says it all the time for me. I can't tell you how many times I've ran into someone. Their first initial thought all the time is, oh, it's evil, it's demon, it's Satan, it's, it's everything negative. And when I try to tell people it's something other than that as well, that there is goodness out there too. It doesn't matter. The darkness is overpowered. The light, no one's going to see it. And you'll wonder why the end of the world is what it is. Because you don't know, you have to wonder. So I'm going to push this spirit box. I'm going to hear it one way. I'm going to put up the words for what I hear. I know what I hear. And it doesn't matter if you don't hear what I hear. I know what I heard. You're the ones here trying to figure it out. I already know. And I continue to push forward and try to find ways to show you, try to find ways to help you, and try to find ways to get you to have the ability to hear it yourself, but if you don't want to hear it, you're not going to hear it. So I don't know what to say. Let's just see if you actually have the ability to hear what I hear. Because sad, 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 so many people don't hear the same thing I hear. Some people hear God's coming, Jesus is coming. Others don't hear that at all. They want to be stuck on everything else. They can't even hear God saying, I'm coming, I'm coming. Are you ready? Are you ready? You can't hear it. <coughs> so if you want to try to hear it, I don't know what to tell you. Learn to clean out your own ears and listen. Because nobody can help you hear if you don't want to hear Little babies have to learn to crawl and walk on their own. You can't teach them how to crawl. They have to learn. When you got on a bike, you had to teach yourself, right? Even if somebody else tried to show you, 
until you actually got it down, you weren't figuring it out. I got it down. I got it figured out. It's everyone else that apparently doesn't. And those who do get it, I don't hear or see you doing a damn thing like I am. If you know God is real, then your life should be developed. Otherwise, you're still in your infant state and you don't have a clue and you need to learn some more. Begin now. It's too late. It's the end of the world. Bring doom. Bring destruction. I want more. Let's do some earthquake earthquakes. Let's shake them up a little bit because they don't want to acknowledge it. Let's give them all shaking human syndrome. Let's shake them around a little bit. Because they don't get it. Still. I don't get it. Not at all. So what am I doing? I get it. And I call for God to come. And to do all this. Because this world is so lost. It doesn't even realize it's lost. And those who think they're lost can't be found because they don't realize they're lost. Nor are they wanting to be found because they all already know. Well, if you know, go away. Condemn yourself by your own beliefs. I'm not going to push this. I don't... Because I can't get no one to hear. I can't get no one to hear when I suffer. I can't get no one to hear when I'm happy. I can't get no one to hear when I hurt. I can't get no one to hear. Because they don't want to hear. I can't make you hear what you don't want to hear. So you want to listen? Let's go. <laughs> It hurts. I love you. I'm trying.
I love the fact that I know God cares about my feelings, but I care about God's feelings too. And the fact that he told me to cheer up, yeah, but it hurts when you try to help and you know you didn't help because they said they wanted help and they didn't really want help. They just wanted someone to acknowledge them. They didn't want help at all. And all I can do is to try to can try to do is to keep trying until the day I die. And I really do care. It only hurts because I do care. Because everybody matters. Everybody matters. But nobody can see that because everybody's better than everybody else. Certain people are better than other people. Well, that's not the case. But everyone wants to keep looking at it that way. And they all fail to see anything other than that. But it's the times that we live in. But that is the way that it was going to be. And I'm trying to help. And you can't save someone from drowning if they're already going under. And you don't have the ability to help them and you try. They're going to take you down with them. But for me, my sorrow, my pain, my misery only takes down everybody else. It takes them down because it is the times we live in. People are judged by their actions and their failure to have actions. Their failure to do, to show, to demonstrate. When you know it's war, you don't run away. You fight and you win. Let's leave so we can fight another day. Let's not do this now. Seriously? It's been how long and you're going to ask for this to be put off? No. If you try to run away, they're going to shoot you in the back of the head right now and take you out because that's the time that it is. You want to run like a coward instead of face it head on? I continue to face this head on, knowing so much of all this mixed up, twisted BS that is everything for what it is. I still push forward because it is what it is. I don't worry about death because I'm not going to die because none of us die because I know that we live on after what we want to call a physical death. And guess what? You can't avoid death. Every single one of you, the death is going to get you all. What happens from here is where you are all struggling. You're all wanting the answers to know what happens. I can tell you this much that hopefully you'll you'll get it. You can't avoid not dying. <laughs> I can because I'm not going to die. What you want to call death in this physical body. I think there's more trouble to worry about what happens from here. But again, they asked me to share everything, so it looks like I'm going to share everything. And maybe then you'll see that I do care. I cry and I get down because I cared. Because if you call for help and you don't get the help you need, what happens? I know what happens because I called for help. 
And I didn't get the help I was looking for. And what did that do? Help bring all of this to be what it is today. So maybe me not getting help and being homeless and struggling and suffering and hurting and being alone was a good thing because we all need this to come to pass. Because when a widow can be thrown out and the law can be ignored when it was, should have been applied, maybe we deserve this. When you can choose an object over a person and you chose a material thing, maybe we all do deserve this. I deserve this pain that I'm going through trying to help people because I cared enough to be dumb enough to be the one to listen to try to help. And you helped cause me pain because you couldn't see it for anything other than what you wanted to choose to perceive it as. Well, that's just wonderful. So many of you are afraid of death when it's unavoidable. And you can't even trust and believe that God got you covered. Nope. Some of you are better than other people. Not everyone's going to be so fortunate. Really? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess you're finally realizing that God doesn't love you because of your own actions. Instead of acknowledging that he did, you continue to make the choice to believe it in a different way. I was there too. I get it. I struggled. I suffered. But I did not give up. Because I did believe in something greater than the nonsense of the lies of everything we were taught. So many people are so mistaught. You'll have everybody on any topic going in separate directions. Nobody is viewing the same thing as what it is anymore. You can look at water and you'll see water. Some people's going to see water as something bad and some people are going to see water as something good. And then there's going to be people who see water. It's, it's just water. No matter what, if you've gone through a disaster involving water, your view about water is going to go different. If you were cleansed by water, you're going to view water differently. And if you never have an experience with water, you're going to either be intrigued by it or you're going to fear it. And those of you who do know what water actually is, no one's going to be able to tell you that that water is something different. But just because you see that water for what it is, does that make the person afraid of water less afraid of water? They're still afraid of water. That's not no different. It's still water. They're afraid of it. You're not. The person over there that calls for rain and looks forward to it in the middle of a drought, and then they get that rain, and then there's a flood, and they're like, Ugh. seriously, you, you asked for this. Like me with asking for God to come. All of you who wanted to see the second coming of Jesus. All of you who wanted to see the revelations take place. All of you that wanted to see disaster happen. All of you who wanted to see an end of a world in some form or another. All want to cry when you get a small taste of something that you asked for. I want cake. Oh, that's not the cake I wanted. Enjoy the message.